everyone, I am the Dragon Skull, and welcome back to The Walking Dead, Season 3, A New Frontier. Where we left off, we started Episode 4 off with yet another flashback with Harvey and David playing in baseball. Oh, Then um, we cut to the present, and, and the, Harvey was thrown in prison, but we escaped, and we are now caught up with the others in an abandoned house. Now we are trying to steal some guns so we can escape from New Richmond but first but we're not leaving without David Clem and AJ that's that's my main priority in this game to save them if I can't save David then I'm I'd, I'd at least want to save Clem and AJ so anyway we are now with them um, Gabe and Ava or how I like to call a Negasonic Teenage Warhead to um steal the guns so let us continue Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Mike, stay cool, buddy. Yeah, something like that. Oh, another guard. He didn't see us, though. You have a plan, Ava, of getting rid of him? Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Yeah, you're gonna distract him. How exactly? You're gonna trick him? Said about staying cool. I've done this before, Hobby. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? I recognize this music. <sighs> yeah, I think I do. She's gonna tell him her womanly charm. Turn us in. Can we really trust her? Well, I don't really trust her, but David vouched for her, so. Your father trusts her, and we trust him, right? Yeah. Then we should be okay. I still don't trust Ava, though. I don't trust How do you know her. When you can trust someone. I feel like I've never really known anyone um, other than you and Kate. Through and their Leon. deeds, I hope and that's the right answer. My dad. Through their actions, they can try to confuse you with their words, but someone worth your trust does good things. Makes sense. Well said, David. Those are those are a good choice of words. Couldn't have said it better myself. Up. She sure is a big help. Yeah, so far. Okay, now that Ava's got him out of the way, we can go get the guns now. Where are they going? I still don't trust Ava, though. I have a feeling she's going to turn on us. I just know she is. I can see it coming. But I might be wrong. She might be um, a good person to work with. She. I mean, just because David trusts her, though, doesn't mean I have to. Ava said it'd be this way. Okay. Where is Clementine, though? I I'm sorry if I'm impatient, but I really want to see Clem. Oh, I forgot to mention to those of you who are new to Stand my here. channel. To, um, if you, um, if this the is the very first... The sorry for interrupting. If this is the first ever Walking Dead video... Locked. Then I... do look for a key, either. <sighs> I don't know what to talk in this game. Well, fire hydro. I have to do this the hard way. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, if you haven't seen the other Walking Dead games, I strongly recommend you go see the previous seasons and previous episodes before this one. Okay? Alright, let's get this over with. That was loud. I hope no one heard that. That was very loud. Okay, again. Jeez, that is really loud. How is no one hearing this? We're lucky there's no one around. One more time, I'm guessing. Okay. Hey. And a one. And a two. And a one, two, three, go! There we go. Open sesame. Oh god, I hope no one heard that. That was loud. Well, we've made it. I still have a feeling Ava's gonna try and turn us in. I just know she is. I might be wrong though, I might be wrong. She might actually be a good person. It's normal to have doubts, guys. 
Hey, my baseball bag. And here's Javier Garcia stepping up to the plate with his baseball bat in hand. <laughs> Ooh, nice gun. Yeah, Harvey's thinking the same thing. Put these in your bag. I like the patterns on it. It reminds me of Call of Duty. Viper ammunition, elite power. Badass. That is really cool. I like that. Viper ammunition. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? Yeah, we do. Uncle Nephew, one two punch. Hell yeah. Yeah, we do. Bro fest. Or oh, not leave me hanging. Okay, that's fine. <gasps> oh, hey, Eva. <laughs> Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll yeah. meet you at the entrance. Yeah, I'll be sure to meet you there too. Hopefully she doesn't run off with the bag of guns. I hope not. Anyway, um... What are we doing now? We got the guns, so what do we do now? Do we get out of here and meet up with the others? Or do we find Clementa? Uh oh, God. Move, move, move! Hide, hide, hide! How has he not heard us running and opening the door? Worst guards in the history of guarding. Wait, Gabe, what are you doing? Oh god, is he gonna come in here? Freeze! Gabe, no! Gabe! Oh no, you don't! Get Leave away, my nephew bro. alone! Oh god, he's gonna die. Oh! Oh, X, X, come on! Oh, X, X, come on! Ah! Ah! I was pressing X! I was. I was pressing X, guys. If, but maybe I didn't do it in time. Javi, you're bleeding. Jesus. Are you okay? Oh my God! I, I took a knife to the shoulder. What, what do you think? Not dead yet. I'm so sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive. Yeah, just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. That's what I've been thinking. Sleeping Beauty in the closet since the season. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. Okay, let's just move it. Wait, why am I moving here with my bad arm? I have a free good arm. Why don't I use that Let instead of using my injured one? It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facilities right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night too. Jeez. Okay, but let's be quick. That must have. Re that was really hurt. And of course, it's bleeding. I got. I took a knife to the shoulder. And speaking of the knife, we're just leaving it there. Why aren't they just taking it? Take the knife. Yeah. <sighs> Why do so many people in these games just not and just leave weapons behind? Can we really hit targets over a mile away. Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll yeah. keep watch with Ava. Okay. Okay, just Do any leave of them me. have laser sights? <laughs> laser sights. This isn't laser tag, Gabe. Okay, so I guess I'll just stitch myself up. Wait, who's that? Clam! Clam! Shit, Javi, what happened to you? There you Ran are. Into trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. Oh, it's dead. need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. You're gonna stitch my wounds? Someone else. Uh, you need some help, Clem, finding AJ? Looking for something? Sort of. I know this looks bad, but it's not like... It's not like what? I'm just here to talk to Lingard about where AJ is now. Understandable. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. Is he high again? He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can yeah. stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. Yeah, lucky season two. Nothing though. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually. The in dog bite! Worse conditions. She still has the dog bite You'll from season two! Yeah, I remember uh, when she stitched that see up. see if I can find a needle and thread for that. That was brutal when I stitched up that wound as Clementine season two. 
Are you okay? I'm fine. Is the boy acting up? I what? started bleeding. I know it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, <laughs> why is it? I just don't oh my understand. god! <laughs> my little clam is growing up. It means you're growing up, blossoming into your, you know, like womanhood. <laughs> oh my your god! Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it'll be okay. Clementine's had her first okay. period. <laughs> I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh my god! Oh, I can't uh, believe right. it! Clementine's having her first period! Never have I thought in my days of playing The Walking Dead would I, th would I expect Clementine to have, a, have her first period. That, the thought never actually crossed my mind at all. I just... It was black. I never expected that. Jackpot. Needle and thread. Why All do I start? Why am I acting as if um, this is um, a good thing? Well, it kind of is, because it means Clementine's becoming a, a, a woman. Cody. Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Yeah, I've learned that from previous experiences, Clem. So, I'm putting them back. No thanks. <laughs> I like how he did it. He's like, no thanks, he just puts clothes there. Okay, so what are we looking for? Stuff to heal my wound. Not what I'm looking for. Okay, uh, let's have a look. Um, let's, call, let's talk to Clem for a bit. Hey Clem, how's your period doing? That sounds wrong when I say that. <laughs> Think I remember how to do this. Oh, wait, I wanted to look around more. There was an option to slap Dr. Lingard. Okay. <laughs> should... Hold still. Whoa! Harvey's ripped! Try not to breathe. Look at those abs. I wish I had abs like that. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. No problem, Clem. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom. If you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Well, you're more of a big Kenny sister to, to say, AJ. I was a natural born mother. Kenny? Oh, don't bring Kenny up. I've, not after what I saw in the first episode. Wait, is there going to be another flashback with Kenny? Oh, that's going to be even painful because I know what. We all know what happens to Kenny after that. Well, before this, technically. It's Aww. a butterfly. <laughs> Aww. Goofball. Want another? Which one to do next? That's so cute. Uh, let's do... How about... A uh, rabbit. Keep he likes rabbit. <laughs> Is that our dinner? That's a pretty good rabbit. Kenny! Always used to do that one for Duck. He'd Aww. laugh his ass off. I miss you, Kenny. Oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? Sure thing, Kenny. I miss him so much. It's so sad seeing Kenny at a because we all know what happens to him later. Uh, this one? Oh, Kenny. I miss you so much. But I'm happy to at least see you again. Even if it's a flashback, I don't care. I'm just happy to see him again. Just a second, goofball. Voila. Yeah. <gasps> oh no! Get away from him! AJ! Leave him alone! Kenny! Hey, help me protect AJ! Back, you son of a bitch! Leave him alone! Nice one, clam! Don't worry, I've got AJ. Is he okay? He's fine. Still not bitten, little guy. Good. You know, first time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful yep. for what you're doing. 
Yeah. Always putting him first. I miss Rebecca. You've done his view too. Yeah, but you're the only mama he's got. And you're the only father he's got now. Protective, you're a good father figure. Loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. But parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. That kind of love. It brings out the best in us. I felt it with Lee. Oh, Lee. Yeah, he was a good man. The best man. Yeah, I could have treated him better. I know that now. Who, Lee? You were well, Lee's best friend. Kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking. It's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe even a little friend for this goofball. Wouldn't that be nice? We yeah. could use the company. Hell, I know I could. Anywhere's better than here. I don't think I can stand another day of snow. We'll find you a playmate in no time, kid. I remember when you and Duck used to color together back at the motel. Oh, Life yeah. doesn't mean much without people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. Oh, Kenny. She was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. It's fine. I guess I'm just happy. Hug Kenny, I'm going to hug First him. time in a while. This is probably the last time I'm going to do this as well. Come here, Kenny. Bring it in. I miss you. And I miss Lee. I miss everyone who died. Aww. AJ, look at AJ. So all cute. right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. <laughs> How about this one, little man? Oh, more shadow puppets? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> We've got each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Yeah. At least until what happened next. Kenny. One month later. I miss Kenny so much. Why did he have to die? Why'd you bring up that flashback to remind me of how of, uh, that we lost Kenny? I miss him. And I miss Lee as well. Lee was a great man. He and Kenny were best friends. They always had each other's backs. And they were both uh, great uh, father figures for Clem. Especially Lee. I miss Lee. I miss him so much. What was that? Walker? Get ready, Clem. It might be a walker. Um, draw a knife. Just in case. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. Oh, it's, it's Ava. This is after David, right? I'm assuming this is after How David... Did you yeah, this is after really they took David. This is after to AJ away. I know this is hard. I'm so sorry about what happened with AJ. Really, I, I am. What happened wasn't easy for any of us. You have to give AJ back, please. He needs me. I need him. That's just not gonna happen, Clem. Look, it's not much, but here. At least she's nice, I guess. Still, what, what? I didn't like when they took AJ away. That was sad. Especially when AJ was like, Clem! That really, that really struck me in my heart. Chocolate. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Let's keep looking in here. 
that's AJ's drawing. And let me look at the other stuff first, because I'm assuming t looking at AJ's drawing is gonna um like move the story along. Take water bottle. Okay. Yeah. What did the other options say to look at them? Well, the bottle said to take. Here it is. AJ's doodle. Oh, AJ. He made that for me. Well, for Clem. Don't cry, Clem. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you. Thanks, eh, Ava. Calmed him down. <sighs> this. <sighs> Thank you. Why would I say what the hell is this? You're welcome. Consider it a peace offering. We care about you. Just try to remember that even if it feels wrong, people can still be trying to do the right thing by you. Listen. It's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Or where you're headed. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone... I used to have Lee. Oh, Lee. They're out there. I used to have Lee. You never mentioned him. He took Lee. care of me for a while. Every time I would look at AJ, I could hear him in my head, helping me, guiding me. He's still with you, you know, here. Yes, he'll always be in our so hearts forever. So AJ. From the first time we met, right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Wow. Please. Never expected her to be it's this what kind makes of you person. Special, Clem. It's what keeps the rest of I us. I promise. Home. I okay. pinky promise. I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. She <sighs> won't. I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support. There's an old airfield, about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. Oh. I'll miss having you around, Clem. Hmm. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Thanks Ava. Ava. Good luck Jinx. out there, Clem. So, th so after this, this is when she meets Harvey. After this, she meets Harvey. And that's how they enter Prescott. At least I think that's how it goes. That's wow. what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. And I'm proud of you, Clem. I'm really proud of you. <sighs> so, what do you think? Lee would have been proud of you as well. I think I'm getting better. Nice work. Thanks. Just glad I could help. You did well, Clem. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. Right. We need to save uh, him. Oh, he's woken up. At last. Hello, Clementine. Are you high again, Lingard? Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. Is there any chance he got out too? Jesus, look at his eyes. I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries. She's a cruel bitch. Hell Jordan yes, took him she before is. I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one... sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. 
Clem. If you Clem. think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. Clem, don't David's be like that. If it's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's AJ belongs to family. AJ, among think... others, Clem is AJ's family. No kid is better off when you break their family apart. Maybe you're right. Maybe AJ should be with Clem. All I know is that he's better than he was when he got here. No thanks to you or David. <clears throat> I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then? You... You want to know where the boy is? Yes. And you're gonna tell me, one way or another. Stop staring at me with those, those high drug eyes. What do you want? I... I just want to die. What? I want you to inject this into me. What? No! I'm not gonna do that! Uh, you're, you're crazy! I'm not gonna kill you! Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I, I can't. You're the only when doctor your brother here. Found He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Then help me save David so Just you'd have a perfect- Just tell me where he is! Clem, calm you down! Don't have any reason to do it. Wait, do it? We talking about? Wait, you want me to kill you and then you'll tell? So you'll tell us where AJ is? That's crazy. Also, that makes no goddamn sense. Javi, I have to know. I've been here for too long. I can't though. I can't, I can't kill him. him now. I can't not kill him in a van. No, no, I can't. I'm not doing that. I can't. I'm not killing him. It makes no sense. Why would I kill him? I'm sorry, Clem, we can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <sighs> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ, just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! Sorry, Clem, you? but... Do you want me to kill an innocent man? So be it. It's your funeral. Okay. Especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find you. Okay, Hang thank you. I'm sorry I saved your oh. life. Hey. Be I grateful you're still time. alive. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. <laughs> Autobots roll out. Mm. Good to see you. Of course, he's a happy to see Clem. <laughs> Real smooth, Dave Cave. Real smooth. Blood for blood. <sighs> what the hell was that with all of a sudden? The whole suicide thing. Sorry guys, I'm going to have to end this episode right here now. The, the things have been emotional, if that's the right word to describe it. Especially with the whole flashback thing of Clementines. And, uh, when the, seeing Kenny again just really upset me. I had, a mi I had mixed emotions when he showed me that. Because it's always sad when I saw Kenny because we all know what happened to him in episode, in episode 1 of this game. We all know what ha how what happened, how he ended up. 
and he died. That was just sad. But it was happy to have a moment with Kenny again, like, and and we found out how um, Clementine in, came to meet Harvey at Prescott. Well, no, 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 met, met Harvey and then went to Prescott. I meant to say. Also, what was that whole thing with Doctor Lingard and the suicide thing? It makes no sense. He he's basically saying, if you kill me, I'll tell you where AJ is. Think about it. It makes no sense. How can someone who's dead tell you where someone is if they're dead? They they can't. That's that's the the answer. Just <sighs> also, why was I kill an innocent man? I mean, Lingard's um he's okay. I mean he's a good guy, and he pretty much said himself David was the reason he he's helping people. What also killing him would be a bad decision considering he's the only doctor here. Like, one of those people who need um, their wounds treated or something. It wouldn't be a good idea, would it? It just makes no sense. I don't know where Telltale was going with this when they made that decision, but... It just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, how, can, how can a dead man tell you where someone is? And so they can't. And don't say they can come back to life because they're not human when they do. They come back as zombies. Yeah. Also... Clementine's finally become a woman. She's had her first period. <laughs> That's that part uh, surprised the hell out of me. Not once when I played The Walking Dead, ever since season one, had I uh, anticipated Clementine having a period. In fact, the thought never even crossed my mind. I mean, I'm glad that she's finally becoming a woman, and I'm happy for her because seeing the little girl that I helped raise as Lee in season one. Become like a full-fledged woman. Huh. What do you want to bet later, maybe later on in this episode, or in episode 5, that she and Gabe will get together? I... I hope that might happen, because, well, Clementine, she deserves to, to uh, some uh, good feelings like that. But then again, if you have deep feelings for someone in a zombie apocalypse, there's a possibility that they'll die, and you'll end up losing in humanity inside you. So it's not all good. Falling in love is easy, but staying in love with someone is th the hard part. <clears throat> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you all next time. Peace.